the Chelmsford For You podcast in association with Radio Chelmsford. Get involved, comment, like and share. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I'm Will Richards. And I'm Sarah Tuffer. And we are here today with Jan from Refill. How are you doing, Jan? I'm good, thank you. Good stuff. Mm -hmm. Refill, if you don't know, is based, what's the unit number here? 22. 22 Bond Street, is that right? 22 Bond Street. But I don't run by numbers. Take a left at John Lewis, <laughs> it's down the bottom there, right? Good, good advice. Exactly, good advice. that's the best place to go. Yeah. So, as you've probably heard, or can guess by the name, or can see, that Refill. All the amazing yeah. behind us. Refill, uh, what, how do you describe yourself as a shop? Um, we are referred to as a zero waste shop, but right. we are a refillery yeah. as well. So refill, you know. Best name for it. <laughs> <laughs> refill does, as you say, yeah, yeah. describe what we so do. So it's kind of like a, uh, is dry goods a good word term for it? Well, we're more than that. So it is dried foods. Yeah. The foods are mainly dried foods, but obviously we've got our liquid side, yeah, yeah. cleaning, laundry, yeah. um, and beauty products, toiletries and things. And it's all, as well. bring your own container or use some of the recyclable bags that you might have here. Yeah. Um, and buy the exact amount that you want. Exact amount you want. Come That's in with your recipe and buy literally the, the, the right amount. Don't, I love have, it. That, don't yeah. have that half a split packet at home forevermore. No, so you can buy a full kilo of chocolate Brazils <laughs> yes. rather than buying <laughs> half a kilo. We're talking about the chocolate Brazils that we can see in front of us right now. Yeah. <laughs> we'll do a shot of that. Cut away shot to the chocolate Brazils. Everyone yeah, loves those. Great. But or if yeah. you're being good, you can just buy two chocolate Brazils, which some people do, because then you're not tempted to eat that's I mean, kilo. That's a great idea, but... It's a health benefit. <laughs> yeah. I'll buy two jars. <laughs> yeah. Two we, jars would be great just, for me. Uh, one each. Yeah, yeah. No? Never going to happen. Yeah. Never jar gonna happen. each. Jar each, yeah. more likely. Okay, two kilos. Right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> perfect. Thanks. If you can get a second jar just in for us, <laughs> that'd be great. So, obviously, you've got a, a thousands of things in here. Insane amount. So, I'll... Obviously, there'll be a cutaway shot of everything that's in the shop yes. so people can see what's available. Um, but you said, let's start with the sort of toiletries and beauty products and that sort of thing. So you've got the whole wall over there, which is washing detergent, liquids. And, and again, you buy everything in the exact amount you want. So you could bring your old empty bottle, even if it's an old water bottle. doesn't really matter, I guess. We try and avoid putting cleaning and things in food in food and drink bottles. See, so I'm new to ideally, the game. Ideally, you bring your old laundry detergent bottle yeah, yeah. or what's the same product that's been in it previously. Okay. Um, and that's what most, the majority of people do. We do sell some nice glass bottles. If you've got a hand soap or washing up liquid, you want a nice oh, glass bottle on the top. Oh, the pretty stuff on the side, yeah, yeah. We sell those, but most people bring in their empties okay. because it's been designed for purpose. And refill. It's almost like Indeed. you should have named the shop that. <laughs> <laughs> so, obviously we can't go through all the pricing, but how does pricing work? If somebody wants to purchase, for example, I can see uh, ginger washing up liquid. I can see the pricing, but the people at home can't see no. that. How does that work? If I want to buy a certain amount of it, how would it work? So all our prices, everything's sold by weight, right. but most of the liquids weigh the same as their mills. So mm -hmm. if you wanted to buy 500 mills, it would weigh about 500 grams. Okay. And everything is priced per 100 grams. Right, okay. So you've got 28p for the ginger washing up liquid. Vegan and cruelty free, I like that. Not tested on anything at all. No, they're all plant-based. And that's, that's one of the key things here in the whole shop, isn't it? Everything is... Well, that's it. It's, it's, a, it's a real bonus. So where we kind of came into business to eliminate plastic and single-use packaging, mm. obviously the spin-off is everything you buy from those suppliers yeah. is cruelty free, vegan, no parabens, yeah. you know, yeah. no nasties in it's it. It's a brilliant so silver lining to it. Absolutely. So absolutely. how did Refill the business and, and yourself, how did this all come to life? <laughs> well, we were using too much plastic at home as a family. Yeah. We've got three grown-up children, three teenagers, or older than that now, uh, with partners. So, you know, through that first lockdown, we had um, seven adults basically living in the house. Wow. And wow. our recycling was horrific. Yeah. So I'd, I'd thought for years, I recycled for years and years, um, when my daughter was three, we went to the Sea Life Centre. Okay. Right. There's a little display at the end, and it said, this cigarette butt will take however many years to, you know, this is what we found in the sea, and yeah. this plastic bottle will be in the sea for 500 years plus. Wow. And it really resonated with me. Yeah, yeah. So I started recycling then, long before household recycling, going to the dump on my way to work and that. And I've always done it. I've always thought I was doing the right thing. And then more recently, we find out that our recycling a whole other world. is ending no. up in Malaysia. And play. I saw a programme... And there was a Braintree District Council recycling bag in this pile of plastic in Malaysia. That's and insane. And it just really 
got to me. It's scary, isn't it? I think over the last, particularly over the last 12 months with lockdown and everyone's sitting at home watching documentaries, there mm. is more information mm. out there it's for definitely people getting to out see. There. There's been more research and the results of that are scary. And I think particularly over the last few years, people are more aware now and wanting to make those changes within their households and they do. their lifestyle. And there wasn't really a way of doing that. No. So then obviously a few of these shops started opening up. Mm. Um, Rico store in Tiptree, there's Silo in Malden, yeah. and the refill rooms at Lee, and more, the sustainability store. Villariki opened a week after us. Yeah. Right. So that we're becoming, you know, every town centre's getting one. We're hopefully we're normalising it, and we're making it available to people. Definitely. Because like you said, so many people want to do it. Yeah. Uh, it's how just can where you? do you start? How yeah. can you? I think it's brilliant that everything is literally as you want it. One of the, I'm celiac. So one of the first things I saw was all your gluten-free pastas gluten up there pasta. and there's gluten-free, all the flowers here, yeah. which these are actually pretty hard to come by these days because they're yes. so popular. Yes. People snap them up so quickly. Um, so yeah, it's amazing that you can have everything you want. And also, what was it I saw? I'm sure, oh, there we go. So you've got your curry powders in mild and medium because I can have the mild. <laughs> and hot. <laughs> yeah. No, oh, we and, can't and have hot. hot as well. I can't do hot myself. <laughs> But um, I'm trying. I'm trying to get there. I'm not really a spice king just yet. You're Had a chicken a tikka masala kind of guy. Butter chicken. <laughs> no, I, I can stretch to a, a madras. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I'll go That's up there. Yeah. yeah, it's very recent, very recent. At the end of the first lockdown. Trained himself. Yeah, exactly. I was working my, at home sweating, trying to eat a good curry. <laughs> Unbelievable. Okay, so people can come in with their empty containers or you do have some available. Is that right? Uh, paper bags for the food yeah. and glass jars for the liquids. Okay, so and ob obviously that's at a premium as well because they you can't just take those things away as, as free, can they? You'll have to charge for jar glass jars and that sort we of thing. We charge for the yeah. glass jars. Of course. Yeah. So, yeah. bring your own things in. Bring your empty bottles in. And yeah, again, what was it you said? Reuse, said? recycle. So, no food bottles for hygiene products and that sort of thing? It's best not to put cleaning chemical that's clear in a water bottle because, you know... Oh, for that reason... <laughs> Yeah. Because pe some I'm people might get confused. So if someone Clearly. just picks up a water <laughs> bottle and starts yeah. drinking. I see. I just thought you meant the contamination of the two products together. No. Just no. for safety Just because someone might drink it. <laughs> I mean, we, we obviously have labels. So if we sell some laundry detergent, we stick a label on your bottle. But yeah. Yeah. still wouldn't advise really no. to bring in drink bottles. Amazing. Okay. <laughs> um, your product range. Obviously, people can come and see it in store. Please do. Some people <laughs> still don't want to come out just yet. Is there anywhere else they can see it? Have you got a website? We have got a website. All the refill products are listed on there. Amazing. Um, all our soaps and other things aren't listed, so you have to come in if you want to see come those and have a look bars at the soaps. of soap and things. Yeah. So what's so the website? The website? Yeah. Um, www.refillchumpsford.co.uk. I was testing you then. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a bit of panic. <laughs> um, panic in my eyes. Everyone does the same thing. Okay. It's Refill Chumpsford. It's yeah. really easy to also, remember. Also, you're on Instagram, aren't you? So you can, okay. you can social see. Social media, yeah. Refill Chumpsford. Or, yeah. or at Refill Chumps with all the yes. across the yeah. Amazing. Okay. So please, every every follow, like and share is uh, yeah, definitely. needed. It's, it's a local independent accepted. business <laughs> doing some amazing things for not just the environment, to help people out. Because th this is the other side of it. Is One, obviously it helps out the environment. Two, it's cruelty free, vegan. Three, it actually helps some people that might not be able to afford the full product in exactly. the capacity they're sold exactly. in mm. supermarkets. People do literally bring in the tiniest of tubs because they just can only afford or only need a tiny amount of something. It's amazing. Um, well, the, as you say, this is a zero waste kind of model, isn't it? Yes. And that, that is it. You, there's no point buying a huge, great big jar of something that's going to sit in your cupboard for five years. And that, um, just that crinkly remember. packaging always splits. Yeah. yeah. And that, that's just sitting in there open, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> clearing out my nan's kitchen cupboards and you're finding things from like World War Two, nineteen. You'd always find a exactly, tin. Because <laughs> she had to buy more than she needed. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. Lion's um, golden syrup. All yeah. black around the top now. I remember finding one of those You'd in the You'd never back of be cupboard. able to undo the lid after. <laughs> no, a screwdriver and a hammer. I sort of get it open like an old tin of paint. Um, but it reduces all of that. Cause well, yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 That's the, so that's it's not the just zero waste in that there's no packaging. It's zero waste in what you take home as well. Yeah, so, yeah. amazing. Because you eat everything. I would, <laughs> I'd never waste myself anyway. Well, that's not true, actually. Sometimes I cook because I enjoy cooking. And sometimes I cook too much because packets of things come in certain a sizes. A certain size, you know? a prescribed and size. Exactly, yeah. So now I can get my own amount of... Sorry, nearly hit you in the head That's then. Right. Now I can get you uh, get the uh, gluten-free pasta in just my... Because I'm the only one that really eats it. Yeah, yeah. so, so you don't need a kilo size. packet. No. Amazing. What's the dinner tonight? Pasta. Okay, let me pop down the shop. 
grab just one portion of pasta. I think it's amazing. I mean, I'm probably not the only one who, over the last however long, has noticed you go in your cupboard and you've got a third of a packet of that pasta and then half a packet of rice. And the next time you're cooking a curry or something, you're in the shops and you're like, oh, have I got rice at home? I can't remember. Yeah. I'll buy another one just in case. And you end up with all these- 11 kilos of rice. Half Di different ones. And yeah. Half yeah. bags here, there. The amount of boxes of lasagna sheets I've got at home is ridiculous. Would you ever mix two different types of pasta? No. 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 Thank no. goodness you said that. It's wrong. It's criminal, <laughs> isn't it? Fusilli and penne should never be together. No, and if you're watching this and you do that, stop. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Don't we you all agree dare. on that. Yeah. Don't ever do it again. <laughs> I'll no. send Will round. Exactly. And I'll eat the food. <laughs> Big but question. But carrying on with that, a lot of our customers walk and cycle here because they want to do that and not drive their cars. Yeah. So that, again, suits them. knock-on effect. However much they can fit in their backpack. Yeah. And they come in little and often. Okay. I'm like, it's a whole new world to me. That, not that I was any less conscious than the average person, but it's just seeing but little think, things like I that. But we are. Yeah. And it, it's changing that awareness mm. that is the movement now, isn't it? And how things are progressing is people becoming more aware and just And more people, like you say, the, 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 we're, we're with the average person. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you know, and one day it, it dawns on you, little by little. Yeah. And then we are all thinking, actually, I care about this and yeah. I want to do something about it. So how it. long has Refill existed for? Oh, nine months now, nearly. Nine months. Yeah. Nine that months. has flown nine past. Nine months. <laughs> and just look, look at it. We've, yeah. we've been setting up here for a little while and there's so many people that have come in to get their, their ingredients for the weekend, yeah. their weekly shop. It's so lovely. Someone mentioned fudge earlier on as well, which I've just seen. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We're not That's leaving really here too new. soon. That vegan fudge is really new. I just bought some to try. All right. And whoosh, it went. Because you <laughs> ate it all? No, <laughs> <laughs> no sadly not. No. <laughs> I did sample it. Of course, we well, um, have that, to. You know, exactly. that just product went, testing. So yeah. It's important, especially yeah. when it's edible. Again, product we've testing. said this a few times at different businesses. If you ever need product testing, <laughs> <laughs> we'll be here. The fudge, chocolate, Brazil nuts, yeah, yeah. sweets, yeah. all those kind Anytime. of things. Anytime. Okay, we'll be I'll here. bear that in mind. So, Thank nine you. months you've been going? Nine months. It's going well? It's, it's, it's amazing. So, we had quite a big social media following before we opened because we got delayed a couple of times right so we had a nice following people just shared it and shared yeah. it and shared it so really from day one i was really nervous stood here and thought will anyone come in just took off from day really? one amazing yeah. and so it's carried on through all that we were able to stay open in the lockdowns because of food and toilet rolls, oh, course, yeah, yeah. pasta and toilet rolls and That's probably exactly. <laughs> even more beneficial in the lockdown because again people then start to the lockdown made everyone no matter how much your income is look at their outgoings and go right okay do i need to do that do I need this? Because if you're on furlough, you had 20% loss of your, your salary and so on and so forth. Everyone yeah. knows the details. Yeah. So these sort of things help as well. So it's, well, it's lots of things help. So people also had more time in lockdown. Yeah, and yeah. then they realised they did have the time to slow down a bit and you know take their time doing the shopping yeah. and things like that. Amazing. And also, luckily on TikTok and things, jar having your keeping your kitchen produce in lovely jars like this is all the rage. Yeah. I was going to say it's very trendy now. So it's very Monica trendy. Monica Geller did this. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing that is. But my daughter was horrified that people were going to the supermarket and buying their packets and pouring them into their jars on TikTok. Yeah. So they don't need to do that. Don't no. do that. Yeah. <laughs> so don't do that. Come, come here. Come here. You can literally the hold the jar, jar underneath. You can still have your beautiful jars exactly. and you don't have and to. And think about that TikTok. That's much more <laughs> visually appealing, coming yeah. in and pouring it Absolutely. all out. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. A full Friends Monica Geller kitchen. You <laughs> yeah. could all have one. Everyone wants a spice drawer. But big question. Nine months you've been going. It's going well? Yes, on thank the you. What's yep. next? What's next? Well, obviously we talk about opening a second one. Oh, there is. A bigger one. Exclusive. <laughs> Exclusive. No, we're not there yet. We're not there yet. But down the line. D well, the I, the I mean, it would be a dream, yeah, to have a chain. Can I think it's going to happen. <laughs> I think it's after this Refills podcast. Refills popping up everywhere. <laughs> yeah. So where would you go? Oh, I don't know. Pete's talking about Romford. Okay. That, now that is an exclusive. There you go. Exclusive. <laughs> Refill Romford. At Romford you Council. Yeah. <laughs> uh, who would they have? I don't know. I don't know. You must have a contact. Not at all. Don't Amazing. even work for Johnson Council. So. Right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> at Romford for you. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> okay. Great. That's not a brand. Don't copy it. <laughs> So yeah, it's going to no, go on we, to bigger and we, better things. We soon realised, so we obviously had the basic stock and we soon realised people just asked for more and more. And that's great that our customers are suggesting to us yeah. what they'd like to see and what we should get. So we did feel a bit <laughs> full. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> but we've, we've been, uh, you know, You must find that you build a nice relationship with customers as well. 
when they come back and it's amazing yeah I, I just feel like they're all friends That's so <laughs> well, they're nice. already they yeah. are we you know like I say it takes time you can't refill 10 jars in in a few seconds no, so yeah. we obviously do get chatting and talk yeah. about recipes and yeah. customers are waiting sometimes on a Saturday we get a bit of a queue yeah. and people are exchanging recipes and things yeah. And yeah. yeah I love it it's like a little community growing out of so it so if you Definitely. need some inspiration on what word. to have for dinner just come and hang around outside Refill because <laughs> yeah. there'll be people there with recipes ready yeah. to hand out. That's the next Definitely. step for you. I've got an idea. You can sell re re recipe <laughs> packs. So well, come in and say, oh, can I have a I can't curry because pack? I can't cook. <laughs> oh, right. Someone can. So I rely on our customers. Pete can cook. Pete, Pete could get involved in the recipe okay. packs. Okay. <laughs> well, Pete, Sarah, you do your cheesy meatballs, don't you? I, Will has to watch me on FaceTime making cheesy meatballs. It's unreal. <laughs> meatballs with cheese in them. You wouldn't believe it. Artery stopper literally takes you no it's not it's a it's a slimming version uh, what's it called the brand uh a pinch of nom pinch of nom that's it pinch of nom <laughs> oh, yeah right. it's I a pinch it? of nom recipe yeah, yeah pinch of nom recipe um on cheesy meatballs yeah you can get the pasta from here perfect exactly so mm -hmm. recipe cards are on the cards for you yeah. on yeah. the cards for you see what all I've done all the there. herbs and spices that go with it exactly it's amazing well well done to you i think it's fantastic thank you and i think everyone that watches this will think exactly the same and you should, so. you should really, really be proud of what you've done. I'm sure, I'm sure you are, Thank but I, you. I feel like there's a point where you're going to go, hang on a second, not, I'm changing people's lives now. It, s some moments have been a bit humbling. Things yeah. people have said on, on Instagram comments and messages people send us, it has been a bit humbling. Yeah. You know, you kind of think, oh my goodness. And if someone said, I think I did a New Year's Day post or something, and someone said, oh, refill was the best thing to come out of 2020. And it just well, you go. breaks your heart, really. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but I think it's from, so nice. That from someone in Chelmsford, I completely agree. It's so lovely. A, we've spoken about this before, having a business that has started and thrived yeah. during 2020 and the lockdown mm. and the challenges that that brought is incredible in itself, yeah. let alone a business like Refill that is changing lives and yeah. making oh. making Chelmsford and the country a better place well done to you <laughs> thank you should be you. all really really proud of yourselves but oh. thank you for having us no yeah, thanks really so really appreciate much. it no appreciate you one more time if you give everyone at home this. watching the uh, best website for you or your website probably the best uh, one isn't it the website's www.refillchelmsford.co.uk amazing and our socials are at Refill Chelmsford amazing Go thank check you so them out. much no, thank you guys have a fantastic <laughs> day I've been Will Richards I've been Sarah Tupper and this has been Jan thanks Jan <laughs> Thank Have a good you. day, guys. See you later. Bye. 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 Comment, like, and share.